Hi, my name is Simon Helfgott, and I'm the Program Director in Rheumatology here at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, and I want to give you a warm virtual welcome to our program. Unfortunately, we can't see you in person, which is how we're going to have to deal with things for the next little while, but I thought I could introduce our program to you in some fashion so that you get a better understanding of what we're all about. Uh, the Brigham is synonymous with great medical care across the board, but I think rheumatology really stands at the top of that uh, pyramid, if you will, because we have been an outstanding program on the clinical side, on the research side, and on the education side, and we continue to strive for excellence. And that's why we're looking to get the next group of excellent, outstanding candidates uh, like yourself who would be interested in committing to a career in academic rheumatology. Our program started about 50 years ago and has consistently drawn people who became leaders in academic medicine, leaders at, at the forefront of basic science research, clinical science research, and clinical care. And we want to continue that uh, legacy for as long as we can. Our program is very well structured in that we have a commitment to clinical research and scientific basic science research beginning in the second and third years of fellowship. The first year of fellowship, though, is really more of a clinical orientation, and all fellows are really deeply immersed in training in rheumatology right from the uh, beginning. They then evolve in years two and three into the tracks that they prefer to take, meaning they could be bench scientists, they could be uh, clinical scientists, they could be medical educators. My name is Jessica Williams, and I'm a third year rheumatology fellow at the Brigham. I also was a Brigham internal medicine resident. As far as the clinical training in our rheumatology division, we're one of the largest rheumatology divisions in the country with over 40 faculty members, and each has their own area of clinical expertise and are world-renowned. Um, I have been incredibly lucky to learn from this talented group of physicians, both on the inpatient consult service as well as in my continuity clinics at the Brigham and the community. I've also been exposed to a wide variety of rheumatologic conditions through subspecialty clinics offered at the Brigham, including the Room Derm Clinic, Room Pulmonary Clinic, and the Pediatric to Adult Room Transitions Clinic. I would say that the best thing about the Brigham Rheumatology Program is the warm and collegial nature of our division. And the reason that I chose the Brigham for Rheumatology Fellowship was the combination of excellent clinical and research training, um, as well as the highest quality of life program that I was able to find when I was interviewing. And I uh, am very happy that I came here. This year, we're actually offering a 24 month track for those who don't want to really uh, stay for the extra year of training and really want to go out and practice. We're really focusing that to people who really want to do academic medicine uh, as a long-term career track on the clinical medicine side. So we are going to offer that now uh, as an opportunity given the fact that the COVID uh, experience I think has changed people's plans across the board and we wonder if that would help some people with some decision making as well. Boston's a great city. Uh, I came here because of the warmth. I'm Canadian so when I moved down I thought this is great. We actually get rid of winter in March but that's no longer the case. I think global warming has changed that, so winter seemed to go on and on and on. Having said that though, uh, it's a great town even though I'm not a fan of their hockey team. As far as uh, living in Boston, I am a southerner, so I was initially uh, hesitant to, uh, to deal with the Boston winters and the New England attitude, but I've been pleasantly surprised uh, that the winters are not that bad and the uh, fall and summer seasons are beautiful here and the people have been lovely. And I actually couples match uh, with my husband, who is a general surgery resident here at the Brigham. And we got married in Boston and um, had our first child here at the Brigham, who was born in May as well, Teddy. The research environment at the Brigham is also outstanding. Many of our faculty members spend most of their time conducting research and are excited about uh, fellows coming through the program that they can mentor. During my time at the Brigham, my research with my research mentors, Drs. Candace Feldman and Karen Kostenbader, I have been studying racial disparities in patients with lupus and have been able to present twice uh, oral presentations at the American College of Rheumatology national meetings. I've also been able to publish eight manuscripts and have received an award from the Rheumatology Research Foundation and also received a grant from the Brigham and Women's Hospital Department of Medicine. 
Um, other features of our clinical research program include access to statistical programming support, as well as a weekly clinical research seminar where we have uh, speakers that come from local, national, and international organizations. Another great aspect of our program is our program director, Simon, who is uh, very interested in fellows' personal and professional development. Uh, Simon, it's clear that he wants every fellow that comes to our program to thrive. He is always available and frequently hosts social events for the fellows, including brunches. And um, in addition to our program director, the culture at large in our division is very warm and welcoming. We every week have educational and clinical conferences where typically people are laughing and joking around. This is truly a fun program to be a, a part of. I think we have a warm and collegial atmosphere that is second to none. If you talk to any of our fellows, any of our faculty, I think they'll tell you without a doubt that the warmth that exudes at rounds and meetings uh, is just amazing and it's not something you can just falsely create. People really truly like each other. I think Boston and Harvard are often viewed as places where it's cutthroat competition and everyone's trying to backstab you. And maybe that's true in some elements, but certainly not in our division. Everyone really gets along, and in fact, I'm the enforcer of people getting along. Uh, I call myself the chief happiness officer because my role is really to keep everyone happy, especially the fellows. If fellows are happy, they're productive. And if they're productive, we all uh, gain from that success. So it's really important for us to get together on regular bases, to check out, make sure everyone's okay, no one's being stressed out. But it's really great when I see everybody becoming friends on their own right. They're not being forced to do this. Uh, what's also important to know about our program is the depth of the, uh, uh, of the mission. We have about 45 or 50 clinical faculty who are full-time who are committed to rheumatology care. We also have an equal number of basic science and clinical scientists who uh, work in our division. So we're actually like a small department of medicine for some hospitals in terms of our budget and our size. And what really matters is that we can provide to any fellow trainee all the wonderful opportunities that uh, that, are, that exists in rheumatology. So be it basic science that focuses on single cells or uh, clinical sciences that focus on uh, bioinformatics, epidemiology, or uh, clinical outcomes measurements. We have it all. We also have a medical education uh, group that's uh, slowly growing in size as well. We have outstanding clinicians who uh, get patients from all over the country and in fact all over the world who come to seek their expertise. And you as a fellow would be immersed in that program. Hello, I'm Joseph Lascalzo, Chair of the Department of Medicine here at Brigham and Women's Hospital. And on behalf of the entire department, I would like to welcome you. Training in internal medicine at the Brigham has a long and storied history. In fact, it is one that parallels the history of academic medicine in the United States with its trainees contributing directly to many of the seminal observations and accomplishments in biology and medicine throughout the last century. We have always been and remain incredibly proud of our trainees and their many accomplishments. Our residents are an incredibly diverse group in many ways, from, the, from their personal experience, their life experience, their personal background, prior successes, and creativity. Yet there are also qualities we seek in our trainees that are consistent among them and critical for success. These include an intense curiosity and an intellectual passion to understand medicine in all of its dimensions, a desire to make things better, especially for our patients, and an extraordinary commitment to medicine as a life work. Again, I'm delighted to welcome you and wish you an enjoyable and informative experience as you learn more about us throughout the interview process. Thank you for our, your interest in our program. I'm Dr. Valerie Stone. I'm the Vice Chair for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion here in the Department of Medicine at the Brigham. We're so glad that you're considering one of our programs for your training. The Brigham is a very special place and it really is wonderful particularly because we do so much to create a welcoming environment for trainees of every possible background. No matter what your race, ethnicity, culture, um, sexual orientation, or gender, 
this is a place where you will feel comfortable. We are also particularly focused on health equity and racial justice. Uh, we have a Department of Medicine Health Equity Committee, which I chair, where we look at ways in which we can improve the health care that is delivered to and received by our diverse patients. Residents and fellows are involved in that committee, and we welcome input from all of our trainees on these important efforts. We also are very focused on racial justice, and as we've had many challenges in the past year that have concerned all of us regarding the various challenges faced by black and brown communities, the Brigham has responded. We have developed a new racial justice focus within our residency program and also have newly recruited a Department of Medicine Director of Racial Justice. We are rolling out racial justice training to all of the trainees, all of the faculty and the staff. And these are efforts that as a trainee you could be involved in and that will also touch your experience here at the Brigham. We encourage you to learn more about us so you can see how this may be a great fit for you. I learned even as long ago as the time I was in high school that it might feel good if you're always the smartest person in the room, but you actually grow much faster uh, when you're surrounded by people who are smarter or more knowledgeable than you are. So I was completely thrilled when I was finally given the opportunity to come to Boston in 1987 to do my oncology fellowship at the Dana-Farber and to do my medical training both at the Dana-Farber and at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. I'm also a firm believer that you shouldn't burn bridges unless you have to, especially when you're younger. So when I came to Boston in 1987, I was actually quite sure I was going to become a clinical doctor, but I also wanted to be at a place where I'd be surrounded by great science and great scientists. And that turned out to be a monumentally important decision on my part because I did then pivot later to becoming a physician scientist. And that was made possible by my outstanding mentors as well as terrific colleagues and wonderful, marvelous young people such as yourselves uh, who have had the opportunity to work with over uh, the years. So lastly, I'm in the hypothesis generating business. So my hypothesis would be that the next few years of your life will be amongst the most exciting and rewarding in terms of your personal and professional growth. And I hope I get to meet you in person someday. So I really want to close by saying we have all the things that we can offer uh, a fellow who's looking for a great program. If you haven't come and lived in Boston, consider it something you have to do once in your life. It's a great college town. It's a medical town. Uh, probably the commonest job that you see in Boston is something related to the medical field. So why don't you come and join us? And the weather isn't bad either. And some of the teams aren't that bad either. So welcome to Boston. <laughs>